pretty much night before drift masters so i'm going to check it out so i thought i'd just pop this in the start of it because jesse's going uh well you've already the event would have already happened essentially but this thing just looks so good really from a pair of wheels because the only thing extra from him having the kawamis you know he's got the rates on the back looks damn hot but it's literally its last event looking like that and then it's getting a transformation so that along we're getting into the rest of the video and uh getting to drift masters and finding out kind of what happens hopefully we can get some good shots for you guys so we are finally here we're here about one o'clock it's a fairly clear day which is awesome i kind of hope it stays like that in saying that rain battles would be kind of cool mainly because i'm not driving so uh, we're gonna just make our way down see what is going on but looks pretty fresh which is kind of cool So yeah, this car's got an engine, uh, a rear four and a tail This car also has an engine and a turbo. That is a turbo with an engine. That is a big front housing, but it looks massive. So, um, I don't know how Jordan's managed it. It's got this custom tail light holding out for the top. We've got two groups into one here. Big, big oh. club terror. <laughs> club terror. Oh. You got a GoPro, it's okay. It's waterproof. Is it? Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you'd know. I mean, you've got the same one. I do love this car. Oh, I don't know that. But I feel like the old bike's the thing. Two, six, five, fifty, fifteen. 
old school Galaxy tires on an S SSR with chips. Actually kind of sick. Like it obviously it's no stretch, but it's kind of sick. Oh. On the zone. Tip it in, bro. On two. Alright, so 
only captured like four or five of the big entry comps and there were, that was Dane tipping it in. So that was good. Thank you, Dane, for that. That was brilliant. Uh, now we're jumping into Pro Battle. So Jordan out. Um, not quite sure how that whole thing works, but there's like three, it was three heats. So six battles which are judged. You being a chase and a lead, separate, and they go to the points. Uh, personally, a weird way to judge it. Uh, my view is kind of if you have to chase someone that does terrible, it's going to affect your quality points. It has to because you can't you can't, can't give me a good run. So anyway, so Jordan's out unfortunately. So we're just going to hang off the pros now. So we're going to watch that. I mean, the the pro am is going as well, but. They're just set up for that. It's going to be dark, so I don't know how well this is going to come out. I don't know how this is all judged, but Saxon versus Levi. Uh, whoever's more hectic should be Levi. 
Easy, mate. You can't be on the barriers like that. So guys, we're up there, essentially the Friday out, pretty hot day, a little confusing with how things were, but Levi Clark ended up winning it, which is pretty sick, considering literally the Thursday before he was getting chemo. He's got some tumour things going on, so that was sick, he won it. Saxon came second, uh, that's in the Pro, um, Phil got third, also in the Pro M, unfortunately Jordan didn't make it through qualifying, so he ended up with... Um, Ben Barnes ended up winning, which has a Commodore. Funny, there's a bunch of Commodores on the uh, podiums from Fish and Drift. So, uh, Ben Barnes, he drove pretty well. It's pretty sick, pretty quick. Uh, impressed for a Commodore to go that quick. Um, but, yeah, so otherwise than that, it's pretty right. Quite a hot day, but um, the runs were fairly clean. So, hopefully next year we might do it. But I do want to have a chat with um, with Rob, who runs the thing, and, and change up a little bit of the style to make it a bit more flowy and better for everyone. So, We'll see what that turns out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next week. We're gonna we're gonna be chopping things up, so uh, yeah, you be ready for that.